Xbox 360 was released November 22nd, 2005 in North America and was Microsoft's second home console, proving to be a very successful machine. The 360 has sold over 84 million units to date and has had 2,103 physical games released for it in North America, some of which are getting harder to find these days. As the Xbox One has been out for over five years now, it's crazy to think about, the 360 is starting to be forgotten by most gamers, and big retail stores like GameStop are already beginning to phase out that generation of consoles from their stores as we rapidly approach the next generation of systems. Which means now is the perfect time to start to look for and collect these games. You can find them everywhere for dirt cheap. GameStop often runs four for $10 deals on them and pawn shops, thrift shops, and used game stores have often have loads of 360 titles, most of them under $5. So today I want to take a closer look at a handful of games that are actually worth a decent amount of money and very well could shoot up in price in the future as they become harder and harder to find. So sit back, grab a drink, and smash that like button because here we go. Starting out our list is a game that I had never even heard of until recently, and it's called Black College Football Experience, the Doug Williams edition. This is a college football game that focuses mainly on African American and Southern football culture. Its gameplay and graphics were subpar even for 2009 when it was released. As you can imagine, a weak gameplay, a strange title, and alternate games of them being more available like Madden or NCAA games at the time were much better. This got a very low print run and it's a very niche market game. And these are all factors in the scarcity for this title. While this game is rare and hard to find, it isn't yet skyrocketed in price all that much. You can get a complete copy for around $25 right now on eBay or on their sites, but I imagine that will only increase exponentially with time because this was a really niche market game, and it's kind of, like I said, really an oddball game you don't see in the wild at all. So pick this one up if you come across it. <laughs> Next up is Monster Jam Path of Destruction. Released in 2010, this game was incredibly well received by monster truck and racing fans alike. It has outstanding racing and destruction derby game modes that all handle and control very tightly. It is also an above average in the graphics department for its time and they still hold up even today compared to Xbox One and PS4. Even though there have been newer Monster Jam games on both the Xbox One and PS4, this game is generally accepted to be a much better and superior game and is sought after by players and fans alike. Due to high demand for this game, it goes for over $35 for a used complete copy these days and will likely continue to climb in value as demand for it continues to rise. Another game that is getting harder and harder to find these days is Raiden 4, a very popular shooter series. Raiden has been around for decades and has loads of passionate fans. Raiden 4 is actually an Xbox 360 exclusive, making it even more sought after by collectors and fans. Its fast paced bullet hell gameplay is top notch, making it one of the best shooters available on the Xbox 360. On top of that, the game is backwards compatible on the Xbox One, making it worth even more. If you see a copy of this one cheap, be sure to pick it up as it's already selling for around $45 these days and will surely climb much higher as we go into the future. Cabela's has been making hunting in big game games for decades. The vast majority of them are next to worthless, but for some reason, Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro is actually worth a decent amount of money these days. The game is a pretty cool and decent hunting sim with loads of giant animals to track and kill. It's highly regarded by critics and hunting fans alike as being one of the best ever made. But the reason it's still worth so much is because of now it's the last Cabela's Big Game Hunter game ever made. There have been newer Cabela game, but they are not in the Big Game Hunter series. They're off spins and offshoots. But the Big Game Hunter is the one that the fans seem to love the most. Today, this game will sell for over $35 to $40 for a used complete copy, so keep an eye out for this one as well. Horror games generally end up being some of the most sought after and collectible games for any console's library. 
Silent Hill was one of the most beloved horror franchises of all time. Now, the Xbox 360 was fortunate to get a handful of Silent Hill games, but the one that collectors are typically looking for the most is the HD collection, which features some of the earlier PS1 games from the series remastered in HD. Granted, the HD collection has its fair share of issues and bugs, it is still a great way to play these games for Silent Hill fans. Collectors and fans of the series alike keep the demand for this title pretty high and it sells regularly for around $25 to $30 used and it will probably go up in the future. Another oddity that you would most likely not think to be worth much these days is FIFA 18 on the Xbox 360. Typically, sports games lose next to all of their value when the next year's entry releases. But that is not true of FIFA 18, as it's the last FIFA game to be made for the 360. FIFA 19 was the first in the series to not have a last-gen port, meaning for millions of 360 owners, this is the best soccer game there will ever be for the system. And as of now, it is still getting regular updates to its rosters and patches that will continue to continue to update it for at least another year or so. As you can imagine, this version didn't sell nearly as many copies as the Xbox One or PS4 version, so getting it is getting harder to find these days and it'll cost you around $40 to $45 for a complete used copy. Speaking of oddly expensive sports games on the 360, NCAA Basketball 2010 is another example of an older sports title that is worth a lot of money. The NCAA games stopped being made around that time due to rules and regulations about college players getting paid to be in video games. This was the last in the NCAA basketball games ever made, and it's not looking like any more will ever be made in the future anytime soon. There's actually a community of fans that through hacking and other means update the rosters and keep the games regularly patched, and the demand for the games has skyrocketed in the years since. This is also a pretty decent game out there if you're looking for basketball, which is, this is a great game to keep in mind while you're out thrifting or at a Goodwill, as most employees assume that older sports games are worthless and you can get this one for a dollar or less a lot of times, which is amazing considering it sells for over $50 these days for a used complete copy. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that Next up is The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon, which was released in 2008 and is the last Spyro game to be made, not counting the Reignited Trilogy. And it's one of the last games to be published by Sierra before they shut down. Fans of the series really enjoyed this entry and it got really high review scores. Graphically, the game looks great and has a decent story to go along with it. The game also came on the Wii, PS3, Nintendo DS, and even the PlayStation 2, but the Xbox 360 version is the most collectible and is regarded as the best way to play this game. A used copy these days will run you over $50 to $55 for a complete copy. Rare and expensive games does not always necessarily mean that it is going to be a fun or even an okay game. For example, El Chavo Kart is an extremely rare and pricey game, but just a simple kitty kart racing Mario Kart knockoff that will always be well below average. It actually originally was only released in Brazil, Spain, Mexico, and a few other South American regions. It is based off of a popular Spanish cartoon that goes by the same name but it had a handful of U.S. copies that were produced and sold in Hispanic markets like Southern Texas and other certain online retailers in that region. The exact number of copies that were produced is not known, but it's estimated that less than 5,000 versions of the U.S. NTSC were ever made, making its rarity off the charts in terms of collectors. Collectors have already started driving up the price of this game, and if you will want to buy a used copy, it will cost you between $75 to $100 these days, but that could be a bargain compared to what it will cost in the future as we start to get into a more collectible time for the Xbox 360. This could be one of the holy grails for the system. And finally, our last game on the list is another odd sports game that continues to go up into price and demand. NCAA Football 14 
as of right now, is the most expensive non-collector's edition game at the moment. Again, just like with the basketball series, this too was shut down to players complaining about not being compensated for their likenesses being in video games and the NCAA rules making it illegal for players to profit off of playing sports collegially. All that mess went down. And in 2014 was the last release of the football. And in this series, it has a massive hardcore following, keeping the game alive. Again, with roster updates and stuff like that, you can get patches online. On top of that, it's actually a really solid football game and still looks halfway decent compared to modern day Madden. But as of today, the latest pricing used for a complete copy will cost you upwards of $100 to $150. That's pretty insane. So make sure to keep an eye out for this one while you're out hunting and looking at thrift shops and Goodwills because you can often find this one for a few dollars and then do a quick flip or just keep it for your collection. Uh, now, I will say that this price as of right now is pretty inflated because currently as I'm recording this, it's, it's mid-December and the NCAA football season is in their bowl, what they call their bowl season. So all this stuff is going on. College football is really popular right now. This price does tend to fluctuate up and down throughout the year, spiking around this time of year. So it very well could go back down to like $50 where it usually is. But still, it's a very pricey game even during those times. So make sure, like I said, keep an eye out for it. Anyway, thanks again for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did, do me a massive favor. Smash that like button. Be sure to check out my previous Rare Games videos. Links in the description and end slate. Subscribe for more videos like this in your sub boxes daily. But until next time, guys, remember that it's always KMAC time somewhere. Until then, take it easy and peace Jump out. right in. Ready to jump.